What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Friday, December 8th. In today's video, I want to talk about five gaming altcoins that are on Solana. Now, why am I talking about gaming altcoins specifically on the Solana blockchain? Well, obviously there could be some potential rewards if you invest in these tokens right now because they're absolutely in a 90% in the downside correction, meaning they are discounted, they're affordable. You can get a lot for your buck by just buying in at these price levels. Now keep this in mind, this is not financial advice. Again, I'm a YouTube influencer. I just inform and educate people what's happening in the space. Now yesterday we covered a video about meme coins and how you potentially, when you buy in the lows, they can get substantial gains such as the bonk token. So that's just one token, a meme coin that's on Solana. So I really think the next thing that's gonna happen is the gaming altcoin bull run that's happening on Solana because these are kind of similar to the meme coin, which is that they were in a 90% correction, you buy the dip and then you wait for it to pump and then you take your profits later. But so basically in this video, I wanna share with you five gaming old coins I think are gonna do that. Again, it's not guaranteed that all these will be into the upside, but maybe one will. So make sure to invest safely and wisely before aping into any of these coins. So with that said, as always, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and go over to the Solana gaming ecosystem. So there are a ton of games. I'm not gonna cover every single one of them. We could possibly do that in another video. So I just wanna share with you my top five choices that I'm looking out for and that potentially could do really well. So this is basically all the different gaming altcoins and games within Solana. So there's a lot to choose from. So I just wanna share with you basically which ones are being developed prominently. So right now there are a ton of gaming tokens within the ecosystem, not just within Solana, but everywhere else. It's oversaturated, but they're in the green right now. So I really think that right now, a lot of these different altcoins I'm about to share with you are below a billion dollar market cap. So we want to see market caps are at least within a hundred million or close to it, or even less than, right? Again, keep in mind, we're going to look into the very first token. So that first token is called Space Falcon, or also known as FCON. Now FCON is the ticker symbol. Again, it's down 90% in terms of its all-time high. So right now, it used to be around 0.005 cents. That's the highest peak that we saw it reach. And now it's below around 0.0005 cents. So there's an additional zero. Now, when we look at the market cap here, it's only around 1.4 million. So it's not a lot. The fully diluted market cap is only around 10 million. Now, this is very speculative because it's such a low market cap. Now, if you can see here, the highest peak that ever went in terms of its market cap was roughly around 14 million. So even in its bull run back in 2021, it really wasn't that big. But again, if you put $100 into this, maybe you can get some substantial gains. So basically this is what the game looks like. Now it looks like it is on a desktop and you can choose the different sectors or story modes that you wanna play this game with. And this is basically what it's looking like. Now, when Space Falcon first came out, it did not look like this. So I don't know if this game is live, but it's kind of interesting if this is actually what the gameplay is gonna look like. I'm not sure if this is a play to earn, play to own, or play for free, but nonetheless, this is kind of a demo what the game does look like. So if this game does really well, then maybe this could be really amazing for the token price. It does say play Abitrax now, so when I actually go to the Twitter page, I wanna go to the store, and so this is what it basically will look like in terms of the website interface and UX, and this is what the starter pack could look like. It says you claim your whitelist, which has already ended. Roughly around 7,900 users had claimed that for that whitelist. So again, this is kind of interesting. I look forward to seeing more updates around this, and you should follow this gaming token. I personally am not investing in this token. Maybe I will, but again, I just wanna show you what's on my radar particularly. So that's why I think the FCON could be a great deal, but again, very speculative, high risk, high reward. We'll see how it goes. Next up I want to share with you is DeFi land. Now DeFi land is also down 98%, but interesting enough over the past day it's actually gone up 33%. Over the past month it's gone up 632%. So the reason we keep this in mind is because again if you look at the market cap 32 million it's actually really low. Again we're looking for anything below 100 million market cap. 
In terms of its fully diluted market cap, around 44 million. Again, I think this token can actually do really well. And I think it's because for a few reasons, other than the fact that it's actually quite substantially quite high, we're gonna look at what this post says. Now it says DFL is free, which is the t uh, ticker symbol for DeFi land. It says DeFi land or the DFL token is no longer a VC coin anymore. It's finally free. So basically, what does that mean? So basically on November 22nd, two days ago, which was based on this post on November 24th, we had the last ever VC unlock and now DFL has 71% circulating supply. Additionally, they have disabled mint authority and renounced token authority to make it even better. So to kind of sum this all up, Here's a great understanding. So if you look at the all-time high charts, basically a lot of VCs vested in this token and what they tend to do is they tend to unlock their funds. So over time, they're only allowed to unlock their funds and spend it and take their profits based on that vested period. If it's five months, six months, a year, it doesn't really matter. But again, you can see how that's affected the token price. A lot of those different VCs have ended up taking their profits and that's why you're seeing the price as of right now, 0.004 cents. So with that said, I think that this could be a potential buy order. So with those VCs out, basically with those tokens being free, it really leaves the opportunity for much upside. And I definitely think that this game could do really well considering that it is a mobile and desktop game. The token supply is not too bad, around 10 billion. I mean, that is a lot considering that this is a game. I would love to see something within the millions because it's more of a supply and demand. But if you put like $100 into this, you could do really well considering that's 98% in its correction. So this is a token that's on my radar. DFL, check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Now let's go ahead and talk about the third token and that's going to be Decimated. Decimated is literally down around 23% from its all time high. Again, used to go up almost as high as 70 cents, even close to it. Again, I've talked about this token before and recently they ended up sharing some footage. So this is an alpha map, a cinematic preview of what their landscape looks like. So this is what the outskirts looks like. This is the city outside of the major city in the cyberpunk world. Now this team continues to develop a realistic world of what these look like battlegrounds, right? So you can scavenge for supplies, but also this terrain leads to basically hijacking. So there are characters that can hijack your equipment, they can kill you if they want to destroy your character, and they can get whatever they want from your dead body, if it's equipment, guns, uh, ammo, whatever it may be. But again, the landscape is really large, as you can see. So this game and their team continue to update their community. It's built on Unreal Engine 5, but also they recently had a Q&A where they actually showed basically any questions that you would had about the game. And sooner or later, they're gonna be testing the game as well, and it's gonna be open source, so it's gonna allow people to actually participate, give their feedback to the developers, and tell them like what they need to improve within the game. But nonetheless, I'm really impressed with the environment here, because again, every single detail that you're seeing in this game was hand done, handmade, was literally done by conceptual artists, but also their team just like continues to have meetings week to week on what they need to do to enhance the feeling to make the scene realistic. So that's why I think that this game is definitely on par on uh, Solana and it will do really well in terms of its token price. Again, heavily discounted in my personal opinion. Okay, let's talk about the fourth token. That's going to be Aurori. Now Aurori is around 26 million. Again, a great offering deal. And consider this, only 100 million tokens. This is at $1.50, used to be around $24 at its all-time high price. Now, I definitely think that this is a potentially a good deal. Now, when we look at the market cap, how high did it go in this really initial phase? Well, it went up as high as $141 million. Again, market cap right now, 26 million. What's interesting is that the fully diluted market cap is 152 million. What's interesting about that is because there's a lot of funding for this project. And the reason there's a lot of funding is because it's mobile, it's desktop, it's really fun. People in Solana love this game and they love the interface with it. It's been around for quite some time. The team has been around since Solana was kind of born. And also if you consider that their NFTs have been selling off the roof, people have been sweeping these consistently. Someone swept 48 of these NFTs, which is kind of crazy. And the floor price right now is around 17 Solana, which is not too bad. That's actually quite high in my personal opinion. So again, Aurori is another token that I I think people should keep their eye out on because I think there's more of a supply and demand issue here because there's only 100 million tokens. So keep that in mind, Aurori is definitely one of the top games. 
Now the last thing I want to share with you, the last token is the nook and cranny of Solana, and that is Star Alice. I'm bullish on Star Alice. I made a video about Star Alice just a few days ago. I'm going to leave a link on the upper right hand side so you can see how bullish I am around the Star Atlas token, specifically the Atlas token symbol. Now the reason I love this game is honestly because the team consistently developing but it's by far the most well-funded game also they continue to share updates that really show that this game is not in the development phase that really sooner or later is going to be available on epic games it is listed on epic games right now but once that game game does go live it's going to be unstoppable a game this game has the furthest development than any other solana game that i've ever seen again built on unreal engine 5. so i feel very bullish around this token hopefully it'll be listed on coinbase soon at some point someday so with that said let me know your thoughts down below regarding my five gaming tokens on Solana. How do you feel about each one of these? How much are you planning to invest? Is it even worth investing for you? Are you looking at other ecosystems on different blockchains? Well, give me your take and I cannot wait to read them in the comments below. So with that said, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and our buy and sell orders, both NFTs, cryptocurrencies, and crypto gaming coins on Solana. You can join our Patreon page to see what our plans are with the Atlas token. Until then, I'll see you guys and girls next time.